So now we have WAMP server installed. Let's go and run it for the first time. And there is a good chance we're going to get an error. But that's okay. I'll show you what it commonly is. So when we start it, you'll see these command windows opening up, launching programs. And there's WAMP server. It goes from red when it's not doing anything to this sort of orangey brown when it is. And if it works completely, it will go to green. And if it doesn't, it hasn't installed everything. You see, we've got two out of the three services running, and that's probably going to be the Maria database, which actually we don't need. To run our WordPress sites, we only need MySQL, Apache Server, and PHP. We don't need the MariaDB. But the re most common reason that the MariaDB or any other ones are not installed and working is because the firewall is blocking in the communications ports with them. So if we go firewall, and I'm just running Windows Defender Firewall. If you are running a more advanced application on top, then you'll need to go to that instead. And what I'm going to do just for now to show you is to turn those off. So I've turned off the Windows Firewall. And now if I go to here and I go click that's left click and restart all services. We'll see if this will now kick all the services into action. Just put it up again and it does. So you see the NR now all running. So I said we don't need the MariaDB running. What can we do about it to stop it running? Well, if we use the other option, which is the right click, we get a different set of services. If I go to WAMP settings, I can untick MariaDB so it doesn't start. That's being stopped and rewritten to the configs. So if we go here now and it says green, only two or three services running because we've gone to two out of three. If I left click and do restart all services, you will see that it's working. So what is working? Well, if I go to uh, localhost, there is my Apache web server running our system. And there is the system running. So you can restart the firewall if you set up the settings, which I will show in a separate video. That is the system running and it's now ready for us to start adding some websites.